Well, guys, sorry about that. Let me finish setting up the little chat so that I can see you guys. I'm doing it on my phone because I don't have a second monitor. I always mention it in case anybody is new here, which is why I have. Yeah, I don't have a monitor. <laughs> oh, here we go. That was fast. That was much faster than every other time I've tried this. Let me slow the volume on the phone. Gotta alert a few people that I'm live streaming. Just give me one second. All right. So where were we? Last time we left off with making final modifications to this little kitchen we got here. This entire system with one, two, three, these are five platforms is a little burrito maker, a little kitchen that I designed. For those of you that are new here. Now, we found a problem last time. And it's that we were missing one essential platform. That goes next to this extra large curved platform. Because these are in charge of taking the most basic ingredients. Turning them into these. The cosmic automatons. Noxomatons and Cosmic squash You have to fabricate these ingredients. So that's what these printers in the back are for Now you use these fabricated ingredients to make om nuggets, which are super rare You have to really look around in the core to find om nuggets. That's why we are here making the base See how many om nuggets we can find and if that makes it faster to make burritos so far, I think it's slowed us down to look for on nuggets. So what we're going to do today is... I, I digressed a little bit, but let me finish my, my train of thought here. <laughs> uh, so we're, today we're going to search around a little more for on nuggets on this layer. And then we're going to go up to the second layer or second... Uh, Anyways, we go up one or two layers up till we reach the red layer where we can find squash things, which is an essential ingredient fabricated only for the for this phase of the burrito. Where you take this large printer, is the squash thing. This is the only part where squash thing is necessary. But we need to fabricate it or find it, and it's more common to find squash thing than it is to find an om nugget. And last time, I was more low on squash of things than on nuggets. So we're going to try to shift focus after we search a little bit. Right here in the core. Why did my phone turn off? Okay, there we go. <laughs> Is it good? Is it loading? It doesn't look like it's playing on my phone. Are you guys good? Okay, yeah, yeah, it is. Uh, so, back to the p other point that I was making, that there was a machine missing right here. The only platform that's missing is the one, or we're going to make it this one. It's, it's called the large T platform. We're going to make another large T platform to go on the side right here. To make squash thing for the burrito. And that way we don't have to go out and search for as many squash things. It takes... What does it take to make a squash thing? It's uh, right here in this small printer. We can search for it. Unknown biofuel and noxothane. That is this green 
gas right here, nanoxothane, and unknown biofuel, which is a purple one. All right, so we have that mission for today. We have to make that platform to finish this little design we got here. I think if we do that, we can consider it finished for once and for all. And we can give it a name, so you guys can help me out with that. I'm thinking I'm in between the, the super kitchen <laughs> for burritos or the burritinator 100, if you know what I mean. The second mission I want to set out for today. We got to make a display case for the burritos so they look really nice. And it's got to be separate from the base so that it, they look extra special and special. Rumptious. Look at those burritos. God damn. <laughs> so we got to make it a little more separated from the base. Like over here, for example. It's going to be the designated burrito display. And we're going to shine some light on it. On, a, on another type of storage as well. We need to design the, the platform and the storage that it's going to uh, slot into. I don't want to just put it into canisters the whole time. It's much more interesting if we display our progress. <laughs> All right, so that's the second mission. And I guess the last thing we're going to do, if we have the time for it, we're going to try to make 100 burritos today. <laughs> I'm hoping we have the time. Yesterday, we made a lot of burritos. We went from 16 all the way to 40 burritos. And that's a lot for a single person. Because it takes a lot. Look at all these pods that we opened yesterday. I, rec I recovered all of this debris from all the pods that we opened. And I haven't started shredding it yet. Maybe a couple of them. But let's unload this real quick. Because we also need to start shredding all this. I guess we won't need to do that lithium run after, after all. Because we can just exchange this scrap for lithium in the trade platform. So let's leave these here. I'm going to start shredding one. Let me unpack. Yo, we gathered a lot of stuff yesterday. The other thing we gathered, apart from these boxes of debris, I'll show you right now. I told you I was going to package the debris, and that I was also going to package these exo catches. Most of these, when you find them down here in the core, they're glowing. I've never... I don't think I've ever opened one that's glowing, so I'm thinking that's exclusive to the breakdown event, but I'm not sure yet, so we're going to do that. After we finish unloading here, we're going to try to find a spot to blow them up with dynamite and see what they have inside. Maybe it's nothing really special or maybe it's burritos, who knows. Put that right there. Uh, I think that's all the debris we gathered. Oh, here's a tiny one. Let's get these two. So these should be able to just get shredded easily here. So I'm going to unbox them and throw them on top when this is done right now. Because they will shred quickly. Open them up right there. Why isn't this opening? Oh, let's just throw it in there. Oh, because that's not a, an engine. <laughs> it can't slot into the platform. So let's take that. Throw it in there, and we'll come back in a bit. What can we do while that's shredding? Let's do the, the dynamite thing with the exo catches. We're going to find a spot. Let's see. Somewhere far away. Let me put on my jetpack. I'm going to need it right now. This might be a good spot right here. Let's uh, unbox the catches right there. It might help if I bring the train a little closer. Let me grab it. Let 
Now I can safely unload here. Let's grab some of these. I don't have to do a, a lot of runs. Hey, that's a good idea. I can just take this, put it right here, and now it's even faster. And grab this one too, and let's bring it down here into reach. One. Oh, that, that's a platform. <laughs> Two, three, four, five. Okay, I think that's all of them. Well, let's scan the, the train real quick, make sure we don't leave anything. All right, let's open these exo catches up and blow them up with dynamite. Right after I bring the train to a safe distance, right about here. This thing's not stopping the train. I wanted to stop the train. Station loading mode. No, no. Stop mode. Stops uncalled cars. Yeah, let's do that. Let's open another one of these. That is going to be so much scrap, dude. Oh my god. I think one of these gives you a three, three nuggets of scrap. Let's see where we are right now. 13. I think there were only like two of them in there. All right, let's open these up. I also have to go find a dynamite. I only have one. That's why I'm making sure to put these all together. See how many I can open with just one dynamite. Right there. Open that up. Uh oh. That's not good. Come back here, son. Go right there. Is that all of them? We just we only have six of them. One, two. One of them is not glowing. See? One, two, three, four, five. Looks like we have eight. What is that? Oh, God. Oh, please don't glitch out and fly off. <laughs> that scared me for a second there. I think this is just about done. Let's put in the other one. Three, two, oh, there you go. All right, so back to it. Let's find that dynamo. Oh, God. <laughs> Let's find that dynamite. I think I left it somewhere around here. Yep, there it is. Let's grab this bad boy and uh, stick it to that cache. Little cash bundle I have. Let's uh let's put it to, as close to the center as possible just to be safe. I'm pretty sure one dynamite can blow up multiple, but who knows if there's a limit to how many you can open. Alright, let's back off. Oh damn, they do let they do release a lot of nuggets and stuff. Oh my god, there this was a mistake. There's there's loot everywhere now. Let me see. And these are probably... These are probably from the one that wasn't glowing. Oh my god. Now there's loot everywhere. <laughs> that was a mistake. Next time I'm gonna bring them up to the surface. Where they won't fly off into the ceiling. All right, let me just throw them in there while I find them. I'll get a silo and stick them into the silo. Dude, where is the rest of the loot? There was so much. Some of it landed up here, look. Yeah, some of it's stuck to the wall and, and to this spire right here. Put it right there. Let's see if any flew this way. It probably did. See? There's one. Yeah, that was a big mistake. <laughs> but... You live and you learn. 
Next time we ain't gonna blow up nothing in here. Here's another one. We're just gonna, we're just gonna search the immediate area. Doesn't look like there's anything else. For now. Yeah, let's keep focusing on the mission here. So we're gonna throw these in the pit, and then we're gonna bring a silo. The silos are super useful for this. Alright. As you just put all the items in there. Let's say you have the vehicle close by. Put all the items you found. And as soon as you put this silo onto the train, in my case it's the train, I have canisters that are going to pick up most of the items. And I say most because these baubles will not be accepted into any canister for some reason. I don't know if that's a thing that they didn't implement or, or they forgot to implement, but yeah. So if I just put this here, everything goes into a canister. This one, let me see if it takes the lead. There you go. All right, so let's count my canisters real quick. I'm supposed to have two silos. Let's make sure it's empty. Okay, we're supposed to have two silos. I'm missing one. Where's the other one? There it is. Grab it. I was using it to transport uh, packagers yesterday on the cargo train. All right. Oh, here's one. This is probably from that blast. Just leave that right there. Mm-hmm. The cosmic baubles look so cool. Let's keep, make sure to keep these shredding. I want infinite scrap here, guys. So, we're gonna make sure that we have all the silos we need. This is graphite. Let's put this back on this train over here. I'm not gonna use packagers yet. And this is the missing canister. Alright. So we got leaks, resipound, automatons. We're missing noxomatons, cosmic automatons, and... What's that? Omnuggets? Yeah, I think it's Om Nuggets. And then we have Cosmic Squash, Nox Noxothane, Squashothane, and Unknown Biofuel. I think that's all the canisters I need for this run. And I can get started. Look at this robot. <laughs> get in there. Do I have any spare Om Nuggets? No. Okay, I guess we're ready. Make, make sure that our train is ready for this trip. We got our soil canister. We got our fuel canisters for the jetpack. Oxygen supplies in case I need to stray away from the train. Two silos, and I think that's it. We're, we're good. We're re ready for this. And in the case of the display case that I talked about doing, we're gonna do that after we come back. We're gonna make a, a few more bur burritos. Or should, I, or should I make the display case first? I think we have a considerable amount of burritos right now that we can start a display case. So let's work on that. Let's build a display case. I'm gonna set these aside over here. Also, considering that I need to make another platform around the side of, of this Burrinator, I'm starting to like that name, <laughs> then we might have to push these machines a little further this way. 
So let's uh, make sure nothing's locked. We're gonna move all this. Let's put them right around there. And expand the dirt a little bit. Turn on the alignment mod. This is super useful. Oh, I'm gonna need that dirt canister on the train. All right, let's align this dirt in accordance to the curvature of this planet. I never knew how useful this thing would be until I started building down here. It is so goddamn useful for making bases down here. Make sure this is plugged in. I want to have proper lighting in here. And let's keep moving these machines a little further back. Right about there. I'm gonna need an extension cord on that one. Whoops. Here we go. Let's put this light post right next to this machine. Make sure everything's uh, uniformly lit, you know? Gotta keep things lit. What the hell? Here we go. It's also nice that I'm doing this because I like having a lot of space to work in. Right there, and this one. Let's put it right here. Whoops. That's not how it goes. Just, let's just leave it right there. It should be fine. Okay, that's looking pretty good, I think. Might have to adjust this dirt underneath. So let's work on that. Because otherwise, when I put the platform... Oh, make sure that it's good. Otherwise, when I put the platform... It's gonna look weird, right? Let's take a look at the curvature here. Yeah, we're we're good. Let's let's make sure that these are connected to the ground and lock them in. I, I'm satisfied with that. We should have the space now. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wait. We have an extra platform right here. Let's take this one. I'm just gonna put it right here. I think this should be a good space for it. Right around here, because this is going to print. This machine is going to print the which I'm gonna call it <laughs> the squash thing. And for that, I need an extra printer. Let's take some compound. Do we have compound anywhere? No, I guess we're just gonna have to borrow this printer right now. Put this printer on this platform. We need... Let's see something. Mm-hmm. Okay, this is going to make sure that this canister right here is filled with squash thing. And for squash thing, we need two gas canisters on this platform. Which means this middle hole right here is not going to get used. I think we do have extra canisters. Let me double check. Most of them are resource. All of them are resource canisters. Alright, so I'm not gonna go up to the 
I'm not going to go up to the surface to make more canisters. This is going to be the basic layout of the kitchen right now. As long as this platform has the printer aligned towards this one, it should be fine because we want to print into these slots right here so that this canister picks the squasher thing that gets printed. It picks it up and then we can uh, start phase three of the system, which is to print the burritos with these four ingredients. All right. So now that we have that layout, we can uh, we know the space that we're working with. For the display case let me correct this a little bit we're gonna expand the dirt up a little bit i also might want to move these light posts temporarily because i'm gonna expand on this platform towards that side it's gonna look a little funky with this uh, train track right there but we're gonna fix that Make sure that this is parallel. Uh-huh. No, that's not good. So make sure that this is well balanced right there. And also make sure that we have enough space. Do I have the wide mod on? Yes, I do. I need it. So let's work with that. Oh, no, that's the wrong mode. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Let's uh, patch up our mistake. Here we go. Let's go. It's good like that. It's good like that. Somewhere around here is going to be our display case. Also, there is... There is something buried under there that we should not forget. Because one day we might need it. It's a canister filled with astronium, which I got rid of. But not permanently, I just threw it in there. Alright, here we go. Let's make sure this is nice and level. Oh, not good. How's that looking? Oh, no, that's too high. Too low, I mean. Is this big enough for a display case? I think it is. All I have to do now is make more floodlights. So we're gonna have to go back up to the surface anyways. I know I had in mind one specific storage system to display the burritos because I thought it was kind of cool. There's this uh, storage case that can flip up or down like you can toggle it. This one. We're going to make this and I'm going to show you how it works. And we're going to store it on on top of large platforms, I guess, because it's a large item. So let's take the train up to the surface real quick. I'm going to write down what I need so that I don't forget anything when I come back down. So we need to, we need to make, what is it? Large platforms. We can make those down here. The large, large active storage. I'm going to go ahead and make the large active storage and... What else could we make? Let's see, we got our burritos here. We need oh the floodlights. Let's make some floodlights for the for the display case. We're gonna make sure it's properly lit. Make sure that those burritos look scrumptious under the lighting. Just like they do in the grocery store. They make all the groceries look all the fruits and veggies look good 
under the proper lighting. All right, what else are we missing? Make sure these keep grinding. I think that's it. I'm going to keep it simple. Uh, what we need to do before we head up. So we know what platforms and storages we need. But we need to take account of how many burritos we're going to make. So that we know how many storages to make. Right now that storage. Uh, large active storage. Right here. We count one, two, three, four, five rows. Five rows of five rows in three columns. That's 15 slots. And if we split 100 burritos between 15. We would need at least Let's round it up to seven storages. So we're gonna probably make over a hundred burritos for this, but we're gonna fill up the storages, that's for sure. <laughs> it's not that we're gonna make exactly a hundred burritos, but we're gonna make sure that we fill up those storages with over a hundred burritos. <laughs> All right. Just so it looks pretty, because otherwise I'm going to get some severe OCD going on here. Let's make sure these are over here in their designated area. And I think I'm going to go ahead and bring the storage train up to the surface. This one. Let's bring this one up. Oh, I forgot one catch. How did I how did I miss this one? Well, let's leave it here. Here we go. The shredder's running. I remember we fixed the power issue we were having. So this train is supposed to go up at light speed now. Here we go. So far, no issues with the power. Here we go. <laughs> I love this roller coaster. Do I need an auto extractor anywhere? It's just me thinking on the way up. I think we did need a roller coaster. We found ammonium somewhere along this cave. I think we probably already passed it. And we're low on ammonium. We, we actually need a lot of it. Because we're using our jetpack a lot. Just to be able to navigate through the caves. It's, they're great to get an angle from above and spot all the research aids that are spread around. Also looking for lost items and stuff like that. <laughs> like when that freaking dynamite blew all the exo catches and threw all the items and just scattered them everywhere. Alright, here we go. Oh, no, 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 don't keep going. Don't keep going. Unless, yeah, I do need to keep going. Let's go this way. 
We're going around the base because we have a little stop over here. Alright, so we're making large active storages. They require a zinc, an aluminum, and a resin. And we need, uh, what was it? Seven. Seven of each resource. So let's grab this, put it over here. This is compound. We probably should bring some compound down into the cave. We have the sink and aluminum. Where is it? Right here. Let's grab this aluminum. It's a good thing I resupplied on all this stuff. All you guys were gone. Let's uh, put this next to the medium printer. In fact, I can take this, take this off and replace it with these. That way I can leave it an automatic printing. Wait, what are you doing? Stop! <laughs> uh, let's see, large storage. Large active storage, here we go. All we're missing is the sink. Let's put that on there. And we're gonna get printing. While this is printing, I'll be right back. I have to use the restroom. Y'all don't mind if I'm making myself a, a little cup of green tea, do ya? Because I'm about to do that. I'll be right back again.
All right, sorry about that. <laughs> I had to get myself a little cup of green tea. I love green tea. Especially the one that's uh, matcha green and has turmeric in it. Oh god, it's so delicious. Mmm. And that's if you're a fan of tea, because I know sometimes people might think tea just tastes like water. Colored water, and it, it might be disgusting to think about it that way. <laughs> But, uh, most of the time we're not really after the taste, we're after the effects of them. In this case, green tea is really good for, for a little boost of energy that, right? There's coffee, and then when you don't want coffee, or you were, so, how do you say it, abstaining a little bit from coffee, then green tea is a really good option. Hmm. Ah, that's good. Okay, so we're gonna open these up down there, but I'm pretty sure uh, that you can open them and close them with buttons. Let's see how much buttons cost. What, what do they require us? Button repeater. When activated, also activates any targeted items. Proximity and delay count. Okay, so we're gonna make the button repeater. We need we need sync for that. Sync. Grab one. Oh wait, I think I made one too many. Let's uh cancel this. No wait, stop! Okay, Whew. that was a close one. Here we go. Let's get these back where they go. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's exactly what we need right now. So let's bring these back. Why is there an aluminum there? Let's bring these back over here. I'll go ahead and grab this one. There was a storage that I took out of the out of here and where did I put it Let's see we got one two three ah whatever maybe it was empty the whole time so let's put that there let's put that there maybe it was that one and let's get this one back where it goes oh we are missing one storage now the aluminum doesn't have a storage here it is. Grab this one. I'm gonna go ahead and put it right here where the aluminum goes. There you go. Alright, so we've got all of these. We're missing one button repeater, which we can make on the small printer. I believe we, this is what we can use to open and close the storages to display the burritos either vertically or horizontally. You'll see what I mean when we get down there. Let's put, load these up into the silo. And I think we're off. Let me double check that I didn't miss anything. Oh, the floodlights. That's what we're missing. So let me turn this around. We're gonna load this up with tungsten. I'm gonna print floodlights into it. We're gonna need a whole batch of floodlights now. Uh, 
I'm gonna put that right there. Let's look for the floodlights. Here we go. Let's print this. It's not printing into me, right? No, it's not. All right. We're good. We're good. Let's make a excess number of floodlights since we love to make freaking uh, light posts. Nice, nice. All right, let's take this into the train. Sorry if you can hear that honking from a car alarm. Oh my god, look at that brightness. You know what? I'm going to leave it on all the way down. It's probably going to look funny. <laughs> Even better if I do this. Watch, watch, watch. Try that. Point now they're pointing both up and down. Oh, you know what would be even funnier? Hold up. <laughs> Damn, look at that. Rather than a shadow, it's casting an entire light. Let's put these. Like so. And on this side too. I want to see how this looks. Might actually look kind of cool. With the lighting going everywhere. Just one more. I'm gonna pick this up. Here we go. This is gonna look so funny. Or cool. It might actually look cool, cool but... Well, we're about to find out. Turn this train around. Alright, let's see just how much this train can light the whole place. <laughs> it does look kind of cool. How it lights up everything as it passes by. It's like a makeshift work light. But for the train. Maybe that's a cool idea. If I can bring a silo with a bunch of lights like that. To light up the surroundings of the train, that might actually be really cool. So that while I'm hunting for burrito ingredients, I can spot them easily. Oh, here's that ammonium that I wanted to put an auto extractor on. I might do that offline though, because it does take a while to set things up like that, but if you guys want to join me for that little project, just let me know. Right now we're just going to focus on the burrito stuff. Any other grindy thing like getting materials and uh, fuel for the jetpack, I try to do that offline to keep the building uh, a little more fluid for you guys. Oh, it looks like we missed a little, couple of lids here. We, we should bring packagers next time. We're almost there. Almost there. Here we go. Welcome to my humble abode. We're taking this train over to the other side. Let's make sure we turn it around though. I'm gonna go like this. And then back it up in reverse to the other side. And we're good. Alright. A little further. There you go. Alright, so let's collect these back into the medium storage. I think that's all of them. Yep, that's all of them. 
So let's go ahead and grab this. We're gonna leave it somewhere around our workstation and start bringing those those damn things right here. Let's grab one of the this one, large active storage. I'm gonna just put them right there next to the display case that we're about to make. Alright, and we put this here. We should print, we should start printing some platforms. Let me do that. So if it's seven storages, that means we need seven platforms. Do we have enough resin for that? Large platforms require two resin, if I'm not mistaken. That one. We should have enough. As long as we keep counts, it should be fine. <sighs> oh god, that tea is so good. Got that tanginess from the turmeric. A spiciness. I think we can start opening these up. Let's do that. Or should we do this after after the thing over here starts? Oh, look. Let's just start with this. So I can show you what I mean with the button and stuff. I'm going to go ahead and open this one up right here. Put the large platform on top. And if I use this, you see how it folds like that? That's what I want for the burritos. Let me grab them. Start filling this up a little bit. See what the proper angle for these burritos is like right about there yeah I'm, I'm that detailed i want them to face the right way as well right about there should be good because I'm, I'm thinking of making a thumbnail with these got this okay is the other one done yes it is This might actually make it easier to fill it up. If I just pull this open like that. Make sure that this is pointing the right angle. I think that's looking pretty good. Let me just count something real quick. I like the fact that this folds up like that. But for the thumbnail, I might actually go for something more like this. Let me show you real quick. I'm going to put this to the side. And it holds more burritos this way. Look, this holds 16 burritos in one platform. This one spreads them out a little more so that I can see them from far away. And that's the total point of it. Here, what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and follow through with a large storage. A large active storage idea. And do that. But for when it's time for the thumbnail, I'm just going to do that offline.
and I'll just take every single burrito and move them one by one. Let's put this on the back over here. Make sure right about there should be okay. That was pretty aligned to me, so start filling this up. Turn that around and make sure that we can reach them. There you go. Let's flip this one over as well. Let's put that there. Let's make sure that they're all facing the same way. Like this. Okay, now, now we got these two on these two little stragglers right here. How many are we missing over here? Just eight more. Plus two, so we we're missing ten on that storage. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I, th I think we're good, bro. Let's stop printing for a sec. <laughs> also, take back the resins. Put another one of these over here. Grab a large active storage. Atta boy, there we go. Align this just about uh, maybe a little closer to each other. Let's take this one and bring it a little closer. That looks pretty good, right? Doesn't have to be perfect. But I guess we're going for perfect now. Too late. Let's put this right about... There. Yeah, that works. Oh my god, it's perfectly aligned. Now we know. We just do this. We align it. I'm, lo I'm looking at... Here, let me show you. I'm looking over here in this corner to align it. So as you can see, I look at the blue corner. Make sure that those two are like pretty parallel to each other. And it didn't work this time. <laughs> Something's not right with the ground. See, it's tilted. I'm gonna have to fix that. All right, let's take a look, and um, maybe this worked. Right there. That looks too close. That's too close. I want the burritos to be evenly separated. This might also be a pain when it's time to do the thumbnail. I might have to do readjustments and stuff like that. There we go. All right, let's, now it's time for this one. Let's put it right there. Maybe a little more to the back. Right about there should be nice. All right, let's start loading burritos in there. I wonder what this large active storage is actually good for, other than what I'm doing right now. Why would somebody want something that stands up right like this? 
Okay, so that's 10 burritos. Let me put this over here. We're filling it, filling it up from right to left, but we can fix that later if we want it from left to right. Put that there. do that god damn it oh no come on okay i think that fixed it let's try there need this arrow to face towards us we're gonna go ahead and grab here. All right, let's bring the large active storage. Nice, it's almost perfectly aligned. Maybe a little more to the right. I'm a bit of a perfectionist sometimes. I like to take my time to make things look nice. That's good enough. All right, let's get the other platform. good enough almost perfect as a matter of fact not bad not bad at all i think we're just missing let's see how many we got one two three four five five times fifteen we're almost at 60 i think no we're almost at 90 my bad I think we're going to have just enough space right here. Let's start putting in the floodlights so we can see better. Yeah, including this one. I have to take this one. Exchange it for a flood, flood light towards the back. That looks nice, bro. Put this here. Let's put this here. Why is this one tilted like that? Can I fix it? I can, but I gotta fix the floor, I think. Yeah, I do. Let me, uh... This might fuck up a couple of things in the... Real quick, let's, uh... Let's make sure the wide angle is turned off. I wanna micromanage this one. Oh my god. No, oh, that's too much. If I do it like this... I think that might have helped. I think. Let's grab this, put it back right around here. And this printer goes right here. Make sure this is plugged in. I think that's looking good. 
Just a little bit of a disalignment here. Maybe I should fix it. Mostly because of these two. I'm gonna move these closer together. So the light posts look evenly spaced, you know? Alright, let's grab the platforms that were left over. Whoa, don't glitch out, bro. That's not cool. Not cool, not cool. Hey, look, there's another piece of earlier's blast. Okay, this is going to be a little bit of a pain because I want this to be aligned with the light posts. So I'm going to grab this, tilt it a little bit, and now realign these. How's that? It's not terrible, but it can be better. Oh my god, this is so... Yeah, the building process in this game can be a little tedious sometimes, if you want things to look nice. Alright, that looks good. Uh, that one's a little too tilted. Let's fix that. Too close. Better. Much better. Alright, one more. Almost completely aligned. Just have to bring it closer so the burritos get evenly spaced. Right about there should be fine. They don't have to be perfect, perfect. Just close enough that you can't tell them apart. Last one. A little bit closer. I almost had that one. That looks good. Alright, now the last, the little cherry on top. Watch this. We have this little button repeater. I'm going to put it right around here. And we're going to pl plug it into every single platform. So let's do... Do that. Can I grab another one? Or do I need more buttons? No, I think these need to be powered. Hold on one second. Let's see if I can reach into the cables here. Mm-hmm. That's working so far. Oh no, I can't undo 
Oh, shit. I misclicked. Hopefully it's not too disaligned. Hey, yo, Dova, what's up, my bro? You made it. Ah, I did it again. I should probably lock these in place. Oh, no. Oh, no, I'm almost out of oxygen. Come on, where's the cable? Come on. Give me that cable. Pl oh, oh, here it is. Close one. And as for the power, let's test this with a little RTG. Or maybe just a battery will do the trick. Let's grab this. Put it on one of the slots and see if that helps the button. Alright, so it looks like there's power going through here. What about this? Why isn't this powered? There you go. We're missing a couple of these. Okay, one more. I thought I did this already. Okay, it's powered for sure. Does this help now? No? Maybe I have to... Hold on one second. What if I have to plug this directly into the large storage segment? No? Weird. I want this button to convert the display cases, but it's not doing anything. Can I do such thing? Oh, wait, wait. Maybe it's this. Ah, there we go. All right. So now I have a question. Can I make one button? Turn them all on. All right, with these two. No. Shoot, I think I might need multiple buttons for this. Mr. Garlock, what's up, man? I'm good. How about you? Just trying to make a little burrito display case for showcasing our progress. We're almost done here. I just need to make... I just need to find a way to make all of these turn on together at the push of a button. You know how cool that would be? I just want to see my progress. So I just push one button and these things go like... Whoosh, and show me the burritos. Let's close these for a second. Oh, this game is called Astroneer. It's really a game about building. It's mostly a sandbox game. You're given missions to scavenge uh, trash. You can uncover uh, the planets and other planets' secrets. There's a big mystery about a, an alien satellite in the middle of this... Uh, what, do you, what do you call it? Solar system that we're exploring. And we have to activate all of the planets to... Uh, get closer to the truth, but I don't think they actually ever unveil the lore of this game. They just give you clues and you have to piece them together. That's why this game is mostly about making stuff and making your, your own goals. Mm, let me see what other... What other stuff we have here? Power sensor, storage sensor, maybe? Oh, how about this one? 
Sink and copper. Activates targeted items based on the change in available power. Okay, but I wanted to activate... I wanted to target multiple items. There's no... Patch target pin. Status 12 segments available. The, there's only one cable coming out of this. EJ Lazy Blade, what's up, dude? Is it on mobile? I actually don't know. I do know that it's, you can play it on Switch, and that's, and that's a mobile platform. The Nintendo Switch. I've actually considered buying it on Switch because sometimes I just feel like playing it on the go. Splitter, no. Power Switch. Maybe the Power Switch might help. No, no, no. It has to be the buttons and stuff. Oh, that's fine. Don't worry about it. Oh my god, I've been so focused on making those display cases. I got to keep shredding all this debris from yesterday. Put this right there. I think we might have to leave the display cases as they are right now. Because I can currently only activate one, and I have to learn how to make this work. I want the button to activate multiple display cases. At this moment, uh, Lazy Boy, I'm just making this display case. This is uh, an event going down right now for the game. It's called the Breakdown Event, where you have to gather ingredients to make burritos. And it's very time consuming, <laughs> but we're here doing it. You have to get ingredients from these pods. And they come in very strange forms. Like for example, unknown biofuel, this is one of the ingredients. You have this leak. It has a little smiley face on it. <laughs> There's this other ingredient called Resipound, which is a combination of resin and compound. Which is not a normal thing to find in the game, that's a uh, event exclusive item right here. Noxothane and, you know, you get the gist of it. There's a lot of ingredients going on. Where we have to make a machine, or at least I made myself the mission to design a machine to print out more burritos. Yeah, I'm gonna feed a whole community with burritos. I don't know what they're made of, but... <laughs> Hopefully I'll have a burrito for every subscriber that comes in through this, through this live, live stream. Anyways, we do get stuff in exchange for that. We're not just nonsensically making burritos. You can unlock uh, stuff for your avatar. You can see it right here in the... Let's see, our outfits. We got suits that we can select from. We got visors, palettes, hats. And the palettes are basically the color for your Astroneer. There's really cool colors like this one, the Galactic. And you unlock it by completing missions. And as for the event, the breakdown event, you get some special items that I don't know what they look yet. What they look like yet. Except for the visor that I have on, I already unlocked it. It's the... Bobble gum, it's called. That little purple visor in my face. Okay, 
We're gonna have to forget about these display cases for now. Let me rearrange this platform and we can get on to finding more ingredients right now. Oh no, we need a power extension here. Let's leave it like that for now. And just tilt it a little bit. Oh no! You can mine in this game, actually. You have this big gun on you. It turns really tiny when you when you put it away, see? What is called the tearing tool. And you can let me disactivate this deactivate this mod right here. So you can attach mods to it, like this drill mod to make it drill through hard terrain, wide mod for a wider digging alignment if you want to align the digging to the surface. So you can uh, patch holes up like this that you make. Or you can dig into walls to gather minerals and soil. There's no real building aside from taking minerals that you find. Let me show you an example. Right here on the ceiling, this ceiling, this is one of the most useless ingredients, but just for the sake of an example. You can mine these minerals, like this. You see how they're, they're getting sucked into the gun? Eventually, they'll turn into a nugget. There, we got Astronium in our backpack now. So you have these little nuggets that you can craft with. Let's, let's show you an example. Oh, you did saw, saw a YouTuber. And what do you think of the game so far? If you like Minecraft, you might actually like this one. I was I know when I started out, I couldn't stop. I could just couldn't put it down. And that was a year ago, and I just picked that back up out of nostalgia. All right, let me pick up. Uh, let's see. I think this train's ready to go. I can start gathering some more ingredients. So, as planned, we were going to search down here a little bit. Right here in the core of the planet. I know for a fact that you can find Om Nuggets now, but... They're so scarce down here that I don't think it's that much worth it. So we're just going to give it one more try and see how many Om Nuggets we can find. And they're the rarest ingredient. I thought it was going to save me the trouble of making the Om Nuggets, but I guess it's not. Okay, so this is where we left off yesterday. You have a Minecraft house with a four-story... Four-story house and a camp and a pool. Oh, that sounds like a cool house, dude. Dude, Minecraft is so much fun. Like, that's another game that I just get nostalgic about and just come back to it after some time. And then me and my friends make some really cool buildings. Like, last time we made a, a castle. On three, on top of three islands. My house has a path to a village. Oh, that's really cool. So it's kind of like uh, you're overlooking the village. You're looking after it, right? Start opening some of these pods up. Also should bring some graphite for packagers. Let's make a quick trip back to the house. No, you know what? Let's save the packaging for offline offline grinds. Because it is a little time consuming and I want to try to get the burritos made for you guys today. I'm going to try to make 100 burritos. Uh, shoot. Did I bring the battery 
No, I think I left it. I need two batteries apart from this one. Oh, creative mode is so good. It's so good for planning out your builds. Usually I play in creative. But I do dabble a little bit when I want to experiment with buildings. With this debris right there. Yeah, we're going to have to go back to the base. I gotta go get that spare battery that I uh, experimented with for the display case. So we're going back. Let's uh, go to the left, right? Yeah. We go left. And take a right. No, no, left. We go this way. And the battery should be somewhere around here. There it is. Right here. Grab this. And bring some graphite now that we're here. Nah, 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 nah. I'm gonna, I'm gonna stay focused. I'm gonna stay focused on the task at hand. If I start doing a lot of things, I'm gonna take longer than I think. So we're gonna package stuff up some other time. I think it was uh, this way. Was it this way? No, no. I think that was a dead end. Let's try this way. No, that's a dead end. <laughs> We're going over to a spot that has a lot of research aids. Where is... Dude, I made progress somewhere around these tunnels, I swear. I think I just made a wrong detour. Let's go this way. Going back a little bit. How about this junction? Let's take a right on this junction. Yeah, yeah, it was this way. Well, making a castle is a lot easier when you have uh, friends helping you out, but it's definitely possible alone. Uh, if if I were to, to give you some inspiration, I'd tell you to uh, look for images of castles and try to imitate them block by block, you know? And don't be afraid to go big. Even, even if it takes longer, you might end up liking having all that extra space on the inside. So you can build more houses for villagers and stuff like that. Okay, so we're going to open this pot up right here. So we're going to put some of these on there. No, 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 it's going to deplete. Let's plug that in last. Where's the QTRT? Where did I leave it? Over here. Okay, so we plug this in over here. And make sure to stand on top of this lid because it's going to fly upwards. And I don't want to lose it. Boom. Alright, so we got some ingredients in here. Let's uh, bundle these up on the floor right here. We're going to pick them up later with a silo. Bring these over here, closer to this pod. We're going to start opening a lot of pods. The world is ugly, like there are barriers and shulker box. Shulker boxes? So, do you live in the end? The end world of Minecraft? Oh shoot, this is gonna fly off, isn't it? Don't! Don't do it! I'm gonna block you. Why isn't it opening? Oh, it's almost... Gotcha! Oh, that's a research aid. A research sample. We're gonna take this back and research it. Also, let's get some oxygen before I die. Whoop.
Are you going to study? Oh, that's that's great, man. Are you going to leave the live on or are you going to just uh, focus on your studies? Sometimes I like to leave stuff running in the background when I study. Mira quien llegó. Mira quien llegó. I am always running out of oxygen. <laughs> it's a good thing I got these tethers. Let me do a couple of them. Let's put this close to the rail right here. There you go. Put another one. So I don't run out of oxygen this fast. So we were going to open this one. Let's put down the power system that we're using. I never came up with that quick solution for opening these pods. I hate having to plug all these cables together. But you work with what you got, right? Break time at work. Damn, I got I got people watching me in break time in their studies. <laughs> I must make really good background noise. <laughs> I am honored. put these two together over here didn't I miss a lid ah whatever forget about the lids we need a leak for this one leaks come out of these snowmen so let's check if this one drops a leak it beats annoying people from work oh yeah definitely especially in a noisy environment I remember uh, where I work, every time it's break time, everyone's just talking out loud in the break room and you just want to get away from all of it. Like you can't t take a proper break <laughs> with peace and quiet, sitting down, enjoying your meal. Get in there. What would you guys do if I decided to go for 1,000 burritos? I would need some hired help for that. <laughs> that would probably be overkill, but... Maybe it's a fun challenge with people. Go for 1,000 burritos. That would make a really good thumbnail too, just a thousand burritos in the thumbnail. They would know we're not kidding. We did it. A thousand burritos. Why do I want to torture myself? Porque soy masoquista. <laughs> and I guess I want excuses to play this game. <laughs> like stream, this stream is kind of an excuse to play the game. I'm having a lot of fun doing this. Posing a little challenge to finish the burrito challenge. Design a new machine. One of your teachers is strict. Like too strict or uh, like uh, she needs to 
get you doing your 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 studies straight. A little strict. A little strict is okay. As long as it's because she cares about the student. I've had friends and my siblings who had really strict teachers and not because they wanted them to study. They just didn't like the student. So they had it out for them. They would make them do unnecessary work and stuff like that. Hopefully it's not like that for you. I think I need some more fuel. At least we can keep count of all the lids we've opened here. We got one, two, three, four, five. Did I find the leak yet? I did. Let's take this leak. Plug it in here. Man, I'm gonna need so many packagers for all this debris. That's crazy. Hey! Where are you going? Come back. It's one bobble that I missed. Where did it fly off to? I'm in the age, age range of 25 and 30. But I'll let you make a guess. I'm not gonna disclose it like, just like that. I'm gonna make it a challenge. What do I sound like? What age do I sound like? Now I'm gonna thicken my voice and see if that helps. How old am I, son? Do you even know how old I am? Let's grab some uh, some fuel. I need to keep flying. I'm gonna keep this debris bundle a little a little closer together. Put these like that. I want them to hug each other as friends. Like that. There you go. That's better. Alright, so we need a pound here. Reza pound, reza pound, some power. Let's open this one. That needs power. Might also help to bring down this wall right here so I can see where I'm going. Ow. Those plants actually hurt you. If you uh, blow them up close to you. Yep, you got it. That's my age. You nailed it. It's that one. <laughs> Dude, first try. Holy crap. Sorry about DG, but he guessed it. He knows my age.
I'm 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, and 30. All at the same time. My age is beyond comprehension. Where, where do I plug this thing in? Oh, wait, wait. This is not the power one. It's over here. Get on top of this so it doesn't fly off. <laughs> Immortal. Wouldn't that be nice? Let's put this over here on my lid collection. I wonder... What if I can... Oh, that's not fair. They're not affected by the gravity of the of the little spire here. Maybe if I do this. No, they're not affected by it. I wanted to stick them on the wall. <laughs> I guess uh I guess that little trick is not going to work. Oh, thanks, lazy boy. I uh, I appreciate that. Let's get some Rizzo Pound going on here. I believe I have a couple of Rizzo Pounds right here. Let's grab some. And open these up. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna open up these last two. We're gonna scout ahead and see what we can find over here. Wow, there's a lot of pods here. Oh my god. Are there any yellow pods? See, the yellow pods, like this one over here, these are the ones that carry the Om Nuggets. And they're so rare that I don't think they're just, they're just not that worth searching for because you can make Om Nuggets fairly easily if you just gather those ingredients. Oh no. Hold up, let me make sure I don't run out of oxygen. <laughs> oh look, there's a... There's a little oxygen thingy here. Grab it. And my backpack is full. Oh! Wait, we're right next to the tracks. I don't have merch, I'm sorry. Maybe someday though. It would be quite an investment to make merch, man. I don't even make money out of this yet. If I were to make merch... One of the things that keeps crossing my mind is little fidget toys. I love fidget toys. Oh, that's fine. Oh, see what happens when I don't stand on them? They just fly away into oblivion. Oh, this, this one's holding cosmic squash. And this. Put these right there. Alright. So we opened that last couple of research aids. Okay, so we're going to remember this location right here. And we're going to go one layer up. One, a uh, couple of layers up, actually. Because there's another thing that we're looking for that doesn't come out in this bottom layer of the, of the planet. Let me mark this out with another track. 
Where are the tracks? Junction, rail post. Do I have any on my backpack? Yeah, I do. Alright, let's go mark this with a rail post. So that I stop right there when I come back. We're gonna go scout the upper layers of the core. I think right about here should be okay. Put that there and we'll be back. We'll be back later possibly. Let's see what's on the upper layers. After, after I fill up these silos, let me grab one, put it right there. Start putting these right there. It's very likely I'm gonna make a part eight. Even if I do make the 100 burritos, I would want to make a little uh, a little celebration stream to send off all the burritos into space because that's something that we have to do to get the points. After we make burritos, we have to send them to space to get the points in a, in a rocket called the Research Trade Platform, I think. Exo Request Platform, my bad. It's the Exo Request Platform. Has a little rocket, you put the burritos on it, and you you uh, fly all the burritos into space. And they'll give you points in exchange. Damn, look at all look at all these ingredients. There's a lot of bobbles, these are really important. Something's not squaring up right here because these are supposed to. Oh, these are supposed to um, grab this. No, not my backpack. There. So these are supposed to go into these canisters over there automatically. So what's going on? Enable the. Yeah, disable the output. There you go. Got cosmic squash. Oh no, biofuel. And now. Anything else that's left over here? This Nox... What is it? Noxomaton, right? Noxomaton. So let's put that in... This canister. And we're off. Let's grab all this stuff and go. Oh look, I missed one. Two, as a matter of fact. I'll just put them on my backpack or something. Let me see. Oh, that does the trick. We also should bring packagers next time we come back. Because there's a lot of uh, debris that we left behind. Yeah, right? That's, that's what's so fun about this game. You have... Uh, for example... I would have a big problem with organization if I didn't put all these canisters on the train. Oh, hold up. So you gotta come up with your own solutions. I pick up all the items with these silos. And since these are the these are the only ones that are not sucked into canisters, so they can just stay right there. Everything else, once I place it on the train, the canisters over here are gonna pick them up. All the ingredients are gonna get sorted out for me. So this is what this game is all about. You you have problems that you're given and you have to come up with solutions for them by printing stuff out making buildings like this and i guess that's the fun of it you get creative with the game oh that's fine what game are you playing
what's left here okay so we were gonna check out the top layer do i need to empty anything or put anything on the train mm. so far no i think we're good i did have an idea though i'm gonna okay okay let me put the batteries and rtg on the train I'll explain it right away, what I'm going to do with this junction here. Okay, so I've been thinking about a method to bring power to the pods without having to plug in a lot of cables together. So what I'm thinking, I'm going to make an extra platform, a small one. Let's see what we got here. I don't think I have the one that I'm looking for as an extra, so I'm gonna have to make one. Where's my resin? I'm gonna make a small platform. Small platform A. Let's print that out and I'm gonna go over here real quick because this auto extractor doesn't need these RTGs. I'm just gonna grab one, bring it over. I'm not using that auto extractor anyways. Not yet. Alright, so we're gonna bring this over. Let's mount this on the train. Let's leave this research sample. Research sample, sorry. Right there. Why isn't it working? Oh, of course, I gotta press play. All right. <laughs> yeah, we have the real Sigma right now. Unlike uh, Batijia, which who's gonna have to leave when she's done with the break time. She's a uh, anti sigma. <laughs> nah, nah, nah. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. She's cool. She's really cool. There you go. Okay, so. The direction I wanted to go was this way. I already started it, as a matter of fact. That was yesterday. I was looking to confirm that Noxo thing, which is the item that doesn't appear on the bottom layer of this planet. It actually does come up here. And I think it's out of these purple pods. So I'm going to start opening some of those while I'm up here. Squash thing is one of the most important ingredients. Next to the Om Nugget. Okay, so I think I might need a junction here. I'm gonna go ahead and move the train. I'm gonna fix this track for a little bit. Alright. Let's grab some junctions. We're gonna change the track here a little bit. Junction. Let's grab this one. Alright. Switch this out. A car on rail line. How about now? There you go. Rail junction bundle. Let's put one down like that. Oh, wrong way. It's like this. Okay. Let's plug the light back in. Now we can take the train this way. We might just have to clear a couple of paths. <laughs> mm. 
the time here right now it's like uh it's the afternoon it's almost one o'clock <laughs> look at that canister just floating why is it acting like there's no gravity or maybe it's glitched out it's supposed to fall down but you can still tell there's low gravity from how slow it's moving. We also should gather some laterite for this one. Do we have laterite somewhere? I think I left some underground here. I, re I remember mining here for laterite. Let's see, that's organic. No. Oh, hold up. I think we found some. Come on, just one more, one more cluster. Where are you? Boom. All right, we have a ladder right. Let's plug it right there. Right there. Okay, so it, so it's good that I'm streaming for you at this hour. <laughs> Cuz you don't have school. Otherwise, I I'd, I'd be streaming for uh people in in the US. If I stream at night, then it would be for people in the US. I know for a fact that at this hour, I won't get a lot of viewers because most people are at work or college or school, but I'm still having fun doing this. It's also the best time for me to stream, so. So it's, it's all good, you know. It's all about the fun that we have here. And yesterday I did I did two streams in a row. I was kind of impressed. <laughs> Cuz after I was done playing Astro Near, I started playing Lethal Company. You might have heard of that one. I started playing it with a friend. Put this there. We might want to pick up these tethers later. Nope. Didn't stick to the silo. There you go. Here we go. Let's go this way. It's called Lethal Company. And we're out of fuel again. Let's grab another hydrazine for fuel. And a couple of tethers. Oh, there's another another laterite thing here. Let's open that. Hopefully, there's, a, there's enough laterite to go around. Yeah, you've probably heard of that one, right? Well, where do you think you're going? lid that we can store away right there we'll pick them up later on hey there's a little 
research aid hidden behind this wall. Let's get it. Might be a good time to experiment now with the little RTG thing that I want to do. Okay, so. I lay down this platform. Nothing. I didn't say nothing about you. No, no, no. We're, we're, we're all cool right here, right? Nobody said nothing. Ooh, more laterite. Two of these are powered and they're next to each other so this is convenient i think this is actually yeah this is working out just wait for this to fill up with power this one's more of a battery research aid boom all right we got these i might want to bring the silo with me as well or just bring the train over Excuse me. Oof. Won't be needing that junction for now. Let's put this right there. Of these tethers since they're not really useful where they're standing. We're gonna put down some rails. More tethers. I must have found something really good if I went this. Oh right, because I was uh, as over there is where I found the the purple pod with the Noxo thing that we need. That's why I confirmed that Noxo thing is found here. Take the train this way. Uh, hello? Are you gonna make it over here? There you go. Yeah, Helian. How are you? Mira quién llegó, ahí está Giovanna también. Este juego se trata del espacio. Hay que hacer construcciones, eh, sobrevivir primero que nada, porque se te puede acabar el oxígeno. Esa barrita que está en, en, el, en el bulto, ahí arriba. Se ve que está bajando la, la barra azul clarita. Ese es el oxígeno que me queda. Si me despego de la estructura que me estaba proveyendo oxígeno, me quedo sin oxígeno. Y me muero. Ahí se rellenó. So, aparte de eso, este, hay plantas que te quieren matar. Y tienes que buscar materiales para construir. Y, y eso es lo más sencillo que te lo puedo poner. Es un juego más de creatividad. Exacto. Es como un juego de aventura.
All right, let's leave these two together right in that that little pothole right there. Por lo menos no es de miedo. <laughs> Te asustaste ayer, ¿no? <laughs> Con los motos que me salieron. Alright, let's pick up these right there. We don't have to start hauling this little silo everywhere while we open stuff. It's like our extended backpack. I think the hard part about this layer of the planet is just all the all the walls that you have to cut down so that you can see where where stuff is might actually help to fly up. Wow, this place is so beautiful. I can't really see much either way if I fly up. Tether to the train so that I don't run out of oxygen in this area. Oh, look. Stay right there. <laughs> Me imagino que también estaba muerta de la risa cuando estábamos gritando por el, el gigante que nos estaba persiguiendo. found so many cosmic baubles. Let's take some of this stuff back here. Might want to organize these two silos. Let me see. This one's pretty empty. I'm gonna I'm just gonna bring this one because the other one's pretty full of baubles. And that's a good thing. Align this tearing right here. There you go. Now it's not gonna fall over. All right, let's get some uh, laterite. Stand on top of this. Get some ingredients going. Nice, nice. We got a bobble out of that. Do we have a resin pound? I have to go back to the train and get a resin pound. Unless the snowman around here can give me some. Let's try the purple one up here. Or these. Let's try these. They're closer. Plus fuel. Yeah, there we go. And what about this one? That's a leak. Not bad. So this one should give me squash of thing, right? Yep. More squash of thing, baby. That's what we need. Turn off that alignment mod because I didn't want to do that right now. There we go, patch up the hole. Oh, there's ladder right here. Let's get some. Ladder right? Or malachite, or both. I want ladder right. There it is. Really? That's all you got? This is malachite, malachite. 
Laterite? It's Phalarite. Why are there so many resources mixed together? Whatever, I'm not gonna waste time here. <laughs> Let's keep rolling. I think I see a big open space down this way. I should come this way. Oh, what do we got here? We got some garbage. Lots of garbage. All right, I'm going to bring the train this way. There's some useful debris over here. I'm going to mark it down with the uh, tethers so I know where I'm going. I thought the gun is I thought the gun is you so I thought you are laying down on your side <laughs> no 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 it's a pretty big it's a pretty massive gun I think I had to spend a lot of time getting used to how big that gun is but I think it makes the game kind of quirky I, I liked it after a lot after a while All right, let's go. Let's go ahead and bring the train train this way. I'm gonna do. Wow, that's a lot of malachite here. Nice. Mhm. Mm Looking good. Bring it this way. All right, lazy boy. Thank you for joining us. You have fun over there. Thanks for the subscribe. And you have a great night. Drink lots of water. I left a silo over here. Let's make sure I don't forget it. Put it back on the train. Oh wait. Not before I open these pods up. This one requires power. The other one's laterite. I can do the power one. But I need to find laterite. Ah fuck the dude. Oh god! No! My ingredients! Oh laterite. What happened here? There's one under this, right? No. Alright, so conveniently that pod had some laterite. Let's put it right there. Another one. Let's put this bobble here for now. Nice. All right. I think I can start pushing the train a little more forward. I'm going to mount this here. I'm going to put this along with the debris pile. I'm going to pick that up later. Yeah, I think this is a good direction to bring the train. Here we go. I also have to clean this road up a little bit, so do this, some of this. Ow! I always forget those plants hurt you. I'm just gonna make this look nicer, you know.
Okay, so that should be pretty good. I'm gonna make sure to leave all of these lives right there in the same pile. But it's easier to pick up when I come back. Get on the train and move. Clean this up a little bit. There you go. This one needs a resi pound, which I don't have. Unless I can go check, uh, let's, let's get it out of the canister. Stop it! I only need one. Ahí está. Díselo como es. Eh. Díselo como los sigmas lo hacen. Ooh, gotta watch out for this plant. Get the fuck out of here. Get out. Nobody likes you. <laughs> it's fine, I get it. Yeah, it's hectic because they're giving her a lot of work there. Trabajo de, de dos personas. Porque lo destruimos. You know what? You know what? Fuck this nature in particular. <laughs> That's what I think. These plants are so annoying. <laughs> San matate, si tu te das cerca te apuñalan. Quick gaming session, lazy boy. Let's see what's over here. Research dynamics aid. Why does this one look so strange? I think this is a regular research aid pod. It's not the one for the event, so we can ignore it. Got the white bottom. Okay, so here's the, the consensus that I'm drawing. This layer, even though you can find the squash thing, is still going to take long. 
because of all the stuff we have to go through like all this all these walls all the visual clutter that makes it hard to see where you're going I might end up just continuing on the bottom layer oh fuck Oh fuck. Oh no, I'm suffocating, I'm suffocating! Help me! Uh, that was a close one. I don't have ladder right. Where's the power thing? I'm gonna bring it over here. Oh, now I'm full. I'm just gonna leave these in a pile real quick. Right there. I guess I'll open a couple more pods and I'll start making burritos. And this one requires power as well. Boom. Alright, let me go bring the, the thingamajig silo. Did I get them all? Yes, I did, but I need some laterite. Let me get some. I had some in the silo. Alright, let's take what we have. I'm gonna go back to base and make some burritos. I think it's time. Hopefully I'm not missing any ingredients. Let's leave this organic behind. I don't want that shit. What about this one? What does that require? One laterite? I got it right here. Let's do it while we're here. Uh, hello? It's- it ate my laterite! My laterite's in there! Oh, god damn it. You'll have another. Ah, oh, god, I gotta get another one now. Is there any laterite nearby? Yes, there is. Awesome. Thank you. Why do you have to fly off like that? Hey! Bring me my stuff! Stop! There you go. Alright, let's go. I'm gonna face the train forward. On the way down. Oh, what about this layer? Maybe this one would be a good place to explore. I could try that. That's another experiment I'm gonna do later on. Whee! 
Who needs Disney World when you got this game? You got roller coasters you can build. Alright. So we got these cosmic bubbles. We're gonna count them real quick. We got one, two, three, four. Anything on the other side? No. Okay, so we got four, six on that one. Get this out of here. And on this one, I think we have a full stash right here. Yeah, we do. All right. We're going to try to split these evenly. So we're going to take two from this side. Now we have four, eight, ten. Ten on each. That'll give me ten burritos. As per the recipe requirements. Let's put that on there. This goes back on the train. Oh, this is my last fuel pack. Or the jet pack. Alright, so what else do we need? This this one requires resin pound and unknown biofuel. Let's see what we have here. 12 unknown biofuels. Is there anything else that requires unknown biofuels? It was it was this one. Our new part of the kitchen. But first I'm gonna count how much squash o thing we have. Where's the squash o thing? Here we have we only have oh my god, we only found five. That was so not worth it. Alright, let's put this over here anyways. Oh my god, the camera went crazy. What else do we have? We gotta split this Reza Pound as well. Put that right there. This one goes in the back here where there's an empty canister for that recipe. And put the empty one on a train. And what else do we need? The unknown biofuel. Yeah, we're very low on biofuel, but let's see what we can do. I guess I can land two of them over here. Pick that up with an empty canister. I need another canister. Hold up. There you go. Let's leave this one here. Okay, so we got that machine ready. All the supplies are in place. We need leaks. We did not find leaks up there. Oh, that's a problem. We only have six leaks. Oh, dude, that was so not worth it. Te está gustando, Elian. Automaton. I think I do have some of those over here. Yeah, we have plenty of that. But we need to split it anyways, so... Let's use this platform to split them. Six on one, 14 on the other. Let's do a couple more. Nine, 
9 and 11. One more. Okay, that's pretty evenly split. Let's put this over here and the other ones, they are required on this one. Okay, so we got leaks, we got automatons on this one, we got gas canister holding noxothane. Let's see how much noxothane we got. 10. Only 10. <laughs> I guess I can put this one over here. Because we need that for the squash thing. And then this one can stay here. Alright. I think the I think the first phase of this uh Buridinator is ready. I'm just gonna turn on these machines, let them print. Let's get cooking. Why isn't it printing? What's missing? Oh, power, of course. Hold on a second. They're all powered on, right? Yeah, we just need to plug this into a cable somewhere. Let's try... Uh, let's use this as an extension cord. There you go. Yeah, we're cooking, baby. What happened here? We need an thing. There you go. Wait, why are you printing all the way over here? What the fuck? It printed on my backpack. Let me put this back here. This resin mount can stay up here. And, oh, damn, we don't have leaks. Lucky for us, I guess leaks are really easy to find down here. Let's see, we got three leaks. And back here we have... One. What's missing here? Cosmic squash. Yeah, I think we're out of ingredients for that one. We managed to make one Om Nugget, right? That's not very good, is it? Let's see. We got nine Nuxamatons. Now we're going to phase two of this kitchen, which is right here, this row of machines and canisters. I think we can make a little bit. Let's uh, start pumping these out. Make on nuggets. The hardest material to make. It's funny because all of these canisters and machines right here in the back are all just coordinated to make this one little nugget right here. That one colorful nugget. And that, which is part of the burrito these these are the burrito ingredients right here om nugget leek squash of thing and resin pound do we have a resin pound let's see what we have five squash of things 10 om nuggets three leeks and nine resin pounds we're low on let me see something i need one more printer we're low on uh leaks so we're gonna have to go get some of that as for the squash up thing i can just print one right now print a few of them and that is put this printer in this new platform that i made this is officially part of the finished kitchen you squash up thing all right three and two we're gonna make a couple of these Start the machine. One more squash of thing. What do we need for it? Another unknown biofuel. Didn't I leave one lying around? Or do I have one any of these unknown biofuels? No. Alright. 
let's do a quick look around. We're gonna try to find some leaks and squash otane or uh whatever it is called. Biofuel. Oh, no biofuel. I already cleared this up pretty good. Let's try uh try going this way. I need to open up some snowmen. Got a leak, that's one. We need at least five leaks to make another batch of burritos. That's a resin pound. Oh, look at all these snowmen right here. Let's get them. back my oxygen is running low oh a leak get that am i full grab it there you go call the train over that's not the one i wanted but i'll take it wait a second i can use this right here i forgot i brought it we got one, two, three, four, five, and we got one over. Now we just need to find some uh, unknown biofuels. Maybe I can find some in here. If I find an extension or something. Get this out of the way. I guess there's nothing. We're gonna have to take the other train and go find some unknown biofuels at the last location that I was searching down in this core. Oops, I need another canister here. Let's grab the other train. Alright, here we go. Let's go get that stuff. We gotta go this way. If I remember correctly, it was this way. Go straight. Damn, we've traveled far getting opening up those pods down here. It's definitely a lot easier to work in this layer. There's so much less clutter. All right, you can lay down a real post bundle this way. You know what I had to leave up there? It's the RTG. Oh well. I think this cable we can reach right there. Yeah, unknown biofuel. All right. So if I bring that back, I can have enough for one batch of burritos, and that's all I need. So let's take this back. I'm satisfied with this. It's definitely more time consuming than I thought to make burritos. For one person, 
It's time consuming. So, what do we got? Let's open another one of these boxes up. Small printer. Where's the small printer? It was right here. Okay, yeah, let's put the small printer here. Oh, oh, I had squash a thing on me. Well, that's it. I think we can make the burritos now. Yep, we're gonna make one batch. That's the first batch of the day. We just need to open up the resin pound over here. There you go. Nice. Oh, we got an extra. I'm just gonna stick this to the wall right there. We made nine extra burritos today. And this one stuck to the back of the wall. Let me see. Get over here. We got a rogue burrito here. Doesn't wanna get picked up. There you go. All right, let's bring up the medium storage and fill this in. Oh, that looks perfect. I guess for next time, we're going to have to come up with a design that at the push of a button, all of the displays come up. Like, this is what the platforms here will do. They open and close. But I want them to do that all at the same time. Simultaneously. Obviously, I just was a little redundant to there. <laughs> but you get what I mean. So this is what we have so far. We got three of these panels filled up. So that's 15, 30, 45, plus four. We got 49 burritos. We're so close to 50. Maybe I should make just one more. What do I need for one more burrito? Another squash thing. And another Reza Pound. Oh, look, another on nugget. Oh, look, squash a thing. All right. So we got a squash a thing. Now we just need a resin pound. And we'll make 50 burritos. Let's put this right there. Yeah, all right. We got 50 burritos now. That's what I'm talking about. We're making progress here. So we made 10 burritos today. That's. You, you saw how much work it was to make one. Or at least one batch. One batch of eight. Whew, that was a lot of work. Uh, so if you see any improvements that can be made to this kitchen that I'm making here, uh, be sure to comment it 
right there in the chat or in the comments if you're watching VOD. So far, this is the design I have. It's these three machines in the back that print out the Cosmic Squash, Cosmic Automaton, and Noxomaton, which will print out Om Nuggets to this platform. To combine it with Squash Athane, Reza Pound, Om Nugget, and uh, what was the last thing? Leak. So it's very, very simple, a very simple machine, but it's so far I like how it works. Might have a, a few kinks to round out, I'll admit, but uh, I'm liking it. So let's make sure to close all of these inputs. So I guess for next time, we're gonna try to finish the display case, see if if it's even possible to make all of these stand up at the same time. I wanted to do that. And it would also be cool if I could make these floodlights turn on with the storages standing up like that. Boom. See? Kind of like hiding it away whenever I don't want to see it. Let me put this over here. I guess I'll do the organizing uh, in between streams. And we made sure to add this little machine here. This was the missing piece that I didn't take into consideration the first time. So I guess that's the finished machine. We're going to try and name it. I'm thinking of Burritonator, but if you got something else in mind, just uh, leave it in the comments. If you've watched this far, like and subscribe if you enjoyed. And I'll see you in the next one.